James chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, we got to at least rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. Scriptures that receive with meekness, with humbleness, can't come proud, can't come to the Lord like you know everything already. And that's what messes our people up. You see, when they see the service of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, they come up all proud. They say, what y'all talking about, I know I know that already. But, they, but they, they come up with a cigarette in their hand, right? So you mean to tell me, you know what the scriptures command you to do, but, but you don't do it. We, we, we can't be that way. We can't just be hearers of the word. We got to be doers also. And the Lord said, receive with meekness the engrafted word. Once again, we got to come humbly. The Lord hates a prideful person. He resists the pride. Pride goes before destruction and a heart to spirit before fall. So I just, I just want to do something quick. I'm just sitting, sitting back just thinking, man. How like we bring out the word week in and week out, starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone. You know, you see how prideful our people is. You know, they hear the word, but they would not do it. But in the same breath, they say they know the Lord. When the scriptures say, he that say, if I know him and, and do if not what the scriptures say, he, he is a liar. I'm saying if I can get that, Lord, one or two. But just like I said before, just something quick. We can't just be hearers of the word. We got to be doers also. We got to at least rehearse the righteous acts. Destruction, chaos, mayhem. And we're going to keep going over this over and over and over and over and over. Receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul, taking heed to this word. Now, going right back to Psalms chapter 119, verse 9, I might have to get that too. How shall a young man cleanse his way? How can we clean our acts up? How can we get ourselves right with the God of the Bible, right? Who they even call God and Jesus, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, by taking heed to the word and rehearsing it to the best of our ability. It's plain. The simplicity, oh Lord, I mean, it ain't even hard to understand. It's not, it's not deep. It's not algebra. It's not calculus. It's just easy. Do what the God of the Bible commands us to do to the best of our ability, and it's going to go well with us, right? Lord's will, right? Let's get it again. James chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness, and superfluity of not in the sea. The majority of our people, they out here doing the most. Even Israelite group leaders, man, and their congregation, they out here doing the most. This, the Lord said, the hell with all that superfluity of not in this. Put it away, man. Put it away. Repent. Turn back. You hear the prophets out there on the highways and byways, week in and week out, crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up their voice like trumpets, telling you what to do and what not to do. Look, according to the Bible, not our own words, right? And I might have to get that too. I might have to go to 2 Ezra, the 7th chapter, verse 20. I might have to get that. If not, brothers, put it on the board. It says, and receive with meekness, with humbleness, the engraft that word. Because see, see the men and the women that are taking heed to this word, guess what? We're, we're becoming normal again. This is what you would call being normal again. You see, normal again. An Israelite man with a beard on his face, guess what? That's us being normal again. An Israelite man putting the pork down, that's us being normal again. The Israelite man and woman turning back to their creator, calling on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, guess what? That's us being normal again. Worshiping the true and living power. That's us being normal again, right? And receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is the words of the Bible, which is able to save your souls, right? That, that, ain't, that, ain't that heavy though? Ain't that some? The Lord said, you take heed to my words. It's able to get you delivered out of this hell hole. It's able to get you out of them sticky situations in your darkest hour. You turn back because that's what the scriptures commands us to do. It says, it says, repent, at least you, at least you all perish, right? 
Listen to this though, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Because our people walk past, they hear it, they see the videos too that we put up throughout the week. They hear what the word is saying, but they would not do it because that pastor and church been lying to them, telling them that the laws are done away with. When the scripture said we got to at least rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. I want to get that too. We can't just be you know, hearers of the word, Israel. We got to be doers also. I want to get this. I just want to get this right quick. This is going to be something quick. I was just sitting back, you know what I'm saying, watching videos throughout the day. And how the scriptures command us to rehearse the righteous acts. Let's get this. Judges chapter 5. Judges chapter 5. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. And it reads, bear with me. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers, which represents destruction, right? The missiles hitting, right? In the place of drawing water, which represents slavery, servitude. There they shall rehearse the righteous acts. They're not just going to be hearers of the word. They're going to be doers also. They're going to rehearse the righteous acts. See, that shows faith. That shows faith. Rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability, that shows faith. Because remember, faith without works is dead, and a brother can throw that up there too. Faith without works is dead. What does it say there? The Hebrew Israelites, right? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? There they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Remember, your eyes shall see your teachers, and you're going to hear a word behind this saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Re remember that? Isaiah, the 30th chapter. Verse 20, I'm thinking, 20 or 21. Your teachers are not going to be removed into the corner anymore. You're going to see your teachers and you're going to hear your teachers preaching this blessed word, right? What does it say there? They shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. Look, look, I'm reading straight out the Bible, Judges 5 and 11, right? Even the righteous acts. See, these words, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Scripture is perfect. It's, it's a righteous book. The Bible, the B I B L E, the B I B L E which is just the book for we. This is the righteous book. All the words of the Lord are perfect. It goes into that too. It says, um, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of, the, of his villages in Israel, then you know who, who this word is for. Then shall ye go, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. So, so what? And while we're serving captivity, aka slavery, because we're still slaves, we got to at least rehearse the righteous acts of the Bible to the best of our ability. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. We're to James. I want to go here, though. Say Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. And it's a red letter. Lord, yeah, how is I speaking? Who they going to call Jesus, right? Say Matthew, because the Israelites said, don't take heed to this word. The scriptures say poverty and shame. And we might have to get that too. Poverty and shame shall be to those who refuse instruction. And we're going to try to get that other one. Because our people say they know the Lord. And if, and if knowing the Lord and loving the Lord is wrong, then they don't want to be right. What well, the scriptures say, he that say if he know me and look, look, and doeth not what I say, he, he's a liar, right? I'm going to see if I can get that. Say Matthew 7, 21, and it reads, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out on earth, starting off with the, the, the deliverance in the chariots, what they eagerly call UFOs, spaceships, you see? And then coming back down on earth, once Babylon the Great is destroyed, and then the kingdom of heaven is going to be played out on earth, man, all right? With the streets paved the gold and everything, right? But what the scripture said again, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Listen, Israel, but he and she that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Who's going to enter into those chariots? Who's going to be delivered? The Israelites, they do the will of the Lord. Not not just being a hearer of the word, but being a doer also. Didn't I, did I read that in James? Receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is to save your soul, right? Bear with me. First John chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. That's how you know if an Israelite knows Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, you see? There's, so all that lip service, you see? 
all that acting, all that falling to the ground and all this nonsense that they be doing in them churches, they don't know the Lord. They don't love the Lord. You see? I, I know the Lord. I know the Lord. But you ain't doing nothing that the scriptures command us to do to the best of your ability. And no, we're not going to get everything perfect, but we got to at least show our faith by doing the works to the best of our ability. Remember, faith without works is dead. You can't, you can't possibly continue to say you know the Lord, you love the Lord, but you're transgressing the words of the Bible each and every day. You ain't trying to make no type of effort. You see, to please your Howard through his only begotten son, your Howard Shai, who you even call God and Jesus. Scripture say they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that fear the Lord will do that which is well pleasing. You see, we, we, we might have to get that in the book of Sirach. We might have to get that. But let's get this again. First John chapter two, verse three, and it reads, for hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, because they're not done away with. All right. They're not done away with. You can get St. Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 17. It clearly states, it's a red letter. Lord, Yahweh I speak of who they only call Jesus tells you that the word is not done away with. Let's read on. He that saith, I know him. And that's the majority of our people. I know the Lord. You can't tell me nothing about the Lord. I know the Lord. You see? I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm saying he talks to me every night and all the other madness our people say, right? He or she that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments. You're not even at least rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability, right? Is a liar. And that's the majority of our people. They're nothing but liars. They're nothing but crooks. You see, they're nothing but thieves, man. Swindlers, right? He or she is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And look, look, in the hopeful elects of the nation of Israel, we, we can't be that way. The Lord said, they that enter into the kingdom are the ones that rehearse the righteous acts. They got faith. They got fear in Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. You see, not the one that just say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And they ain't doing what the Lord commands them to do, even to the best of their ability, man. You see? And hereby we do, verse 1, verse, um, 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. So the truth ain't in the majority of our people. The average Negro, Latino, and Native American, they wouldn't know the truth if it slapped them down to the floor. The average Israelite wouldn't know the truth if it slapped them down to the floor, Israel. You see? But whoso keepeth his word, Right? In him verily, truly, is the love of the Most High Yahweh perfected. Hereby know we have we, hereby know we that we are in him. You see? He that saith he abided in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked, man. You see? So the same way Lord Yahweh shall walk on the face of the earth, you know what I'm saying? We got to rehearse that way. You see? Let's see what else before I close out. Like I said before, this is so quick. I'm just sitting back thinking. Like the majority of our people, some of them, they love the Lord. And if loving the Lord is wrong, then they don't want to be right. But if the scriptures just said, he or she that saith that they know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar, man. All right? Let's see what else before I close. Oh, yeah, I mentioned, um, I mentioned Psalms. I want, I want to get that. The Lord didn't make it hard for us to seek him. Oh, yeah, I want to get that Sirach too. This is Psalms. Psalms 119, just something like I said before, just something quick, just sitting back, just thinking, partnering on the scriptures. Look, which shall be the stability of our time, right? And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Psalms 119 and 9, and it reads, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? How, how can we clean ourselves up? How can we get it right with the God of the Bible, right? By taking heed thereto according to thy word so we, we can't just hear the word and not do it we got to take heed to what the word is saying israel and we do it to the best of our ability all right the scriptures say don't eat pork don't eat pork don't eat shrimp don't eat shrimp don't mess with another man's woman don't mess with another man's woman a woman that has a husband don't be talking to another man all right having private conversation now you of course we're at work we got to speak to people, things of that nature, but don't be sitting back having no private conversation with someone knowing you got a husband. You see, the Lord said, don't be indulging in drug dealing and things that I mean, sh scrap Don't be out here practicing witchcraft. They don't be out here stealing. All right. Come on. you. We, we, we know, don't we? We know right from wrong, right? Oh, yeah, I did. I did mention. Um, 
I did mention second edge of the seventh chapter. Let's just get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. And I might have to get that Isaiah the 30th chapter. If not, brothers can put it on the comment board. This is um second edge of the seventh chapter. Just want to get this right quick. And I might have to get that Sarah. Second edge chapter seven, verse 20. And it reads, there be many that perish in this life, meaning die, right? Get deleted, right? In this life, because they have despised the law of the Most High. They were just serious of the word. They wasn't doers. They hated the words of the Lord, right? They despised the law of the Most High that is set before them. The Lord sent forth service to tell you the do's and the don'ts, Israel. No more excuses. For the Most High have given them straight commandments to such as came, which are the Israelites, what they should do. To what they should do to live, you see that? Even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. It's all in the book. It's all in the book. The do's and the don'ts are all in the book. Let's get some rock right quick, and I'm gonna close it out. Like I said before, just something quick through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord told us not to worship other gods, all that in there. You see? Sirach, yeah, Sirach chapter 2. Let's just get this right quick. Sirach chapter 2. Verse, um, let's see. Sirach chapter 2, verse 15, and it reads, They that fear the Lord, because that's the beginning of knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And look, the scriptures tell us, uh, they that remain, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we're part of that whole for number. Starting off with the elder apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, Lord willing, we're part of that whole for number, right? The scriptures tell us, man, that, that there shall be nothing better. Those that remain, they're going to know that there was nothing better than to fear the Lord. And to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of their ability. They're not going to wait for all hell to break loose to, to, to please the Lord. I mean, that ain't even making no sense anyway. You wait till all hell break loose and now you want to try to please the Lord. You wait till martial law kick off and now you want to uh, um home invasion and now. Somebody go up inside your head or now you want to seek the Lord. Now you want to pray to the Lord. Now you want to do what is pleasing. You lose your job. Now you want to cry to the Lord. You ain't got nothing to eat. Now you want to cry. No, man. Lord, like, why, why you at your full potential? Remember, seek thy creator in the days of thy youth. Why you, why we're at our full potential. Um, going to Patel or older age, you seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in the days of thy youth. Don't wait till you get old as shit. And then you want to seek the Lord, and then the Lord is bringing in older people, older men and older women. But you you don't be like 17, 18, 19, 20, in your 20s, early 20s, and things of that nature, maybe your 30s, and you look, you, you ain't seeking the Lord, right? You wait till you get like 60 or 70, now, now you about done, you know what I'm saying? Um, coughing up dust and all that, and now you want to seek the Lord. No. Do it in your full potential. Yo, when you're at your best strength, seek the Lord, right? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Verse 15, and they that love him, because our people say they love the Lord, right? And if love of the Lord is wrong, they don't want to be right, right? And they that love him will keep his way. What is love according to the Bible? St. John 14 and 15. Rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability, right? Verse 16, they that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will seek that which is well pleasing, right? Unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts. They mean they're going to get their minds right because the Lord is on his way. The Lord is on his way. Remember, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the almighty shall it come. Remember that scripture? The day of the Lord is nearer than what we believe. That's why the scripture says it's high time to wake out of sleep, right? Because salvation is nearer than what we believe. Salvation and destruction, Israel, is nearer than what we believe, all right? We just say they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, meaning they're going to get their minds right and humble their souls in the sight of the Lord. Saying, we will fall into the hands of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and not into the hands of man, of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So we're begging for mercy. The Lord put their spirits on us to do what is right. Abba they continue to keep their spirits on us to do what is right. Only thing we we down to look what it would say: the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord, Israel.
Yeah, I just want to bring out something quick, man. Just about, you know what I'm saying, not just being hearers of the word, but being doers also to the best of our ability. We got to do something for the Lord. The Lord doing things for us each and every day, Israel. Once again, I'm going to keep saying the Abaratah We can't thank Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai enough, man. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of the Most High Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. Concerning us, man. So let us not be hypocrites in the eyes of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Don't just be hearers of the word, but doers also. Shalom.